Hello everyone, this is Teacher Juvie and I will be your guide for today's lesson. For today's lesson, we will describe and illustrate parallel, intersecting, and perpendicular lines. So what is a line? A line is a set of points that follows a straight path and extends indefinitely in both directions. We use two distinct points to name a line. So, this is an illustration of a line. So, tatandaan nyo, pag magda-drawing kayo ng line, dapat may arrowhead siya. Para, ang ibig sabihin ng arrowhead, extended siya in both directions. So, infinite or walang katapusan yung, ex yung kanyang extensions. So, itong line na nag-start sa mga tordok, so binubuo siya ng mga points. And para mag pag nag-name tayo ng line, gumagamit tayo ng dalawang distinct points dun sa line na yon. So, we have point C and point D. So, to read this uh, line, we read this as line CD, and in symbol, we use this line symbol, yung may arrow, or yung may arrow head. Okay, so we have different kinds of lines. So, ang first natin i-describe is a parallel lines, or parallel lines. So, ito ang itsura ng parallel lines. So, ano ba ang karakteristik ng parallel lines? So, these are lines that never meet. So, pag in-extend natin yung dalawang line na to in both directions, never silang mag-meet. Another characteristic is they are equally distant from each other and go in the same direction. So, same sila ng distance and same sila ng direction na pupuntahan. So, these are parallel lines. Okay, another kind of lines are perpendicular lines. So, ito ang itsura ng perpendicular lines. So, anong pagkakaiba niya sa parallel lines? Ang perpendicular lines are lines that meet at a 90 degree angle to each other. So, yung angle na mabubuo nila is 90 degree. Okay, so paano ba natin malaman 90 degree pag pa letter L siya? Okay, so they form square corners. So, yung mafoform daw niya ay mga square corners. So, tatandaan, ang perpendicular lines meet at a 90 degree angle to each other. The third kinds of lines are intersecting lines. So, ganito ang itsura ng intersecting lines. Ang intersecting lines are lines that meet at a common point. So, meron silang common point or nag-meet sila at a common point. So, same sila ng uh, perpendicular lines. Ang kaibahan lang nito, ang kaibahan lang ng perpendicular lines sa intersecting lines, ang perpendicular nag-meet at a 90 degree angle. So, ito naman, hindi 90 degree yung na-form niya. So, yun, intersecting line siya. Okay, so kanina dinescribe natin yung mga different kinds of lines. Ngayon naman is magdadraw tayo ng different kinds of lines. So let's start with parallel lines. So yung first step natin, draw a straight line using the ruler. So gamit ang ruler, magdadrawing tayo ng isang straight line. Okay, next is... Align the edge of the triangle along the line you drew. So, gagamit tayo ng triangle, then i-align natin yung edge ng triangle doon sa drawing nating line kanina. Okay, so after nyan, align the ruler at the base of your triangle. So, i-align naman natin yung ruler natin doon sa base ng triangle. Okay, so let's mark yung ating drawing na line kanina as line A. The next step is, we slide the triangle downward along the side of the ruler and draw another line from the edge of the triangle. Okay. So, slide natin yung triangle pababa. Then, mag-drawing tayo ng another line from the edge of the triangle. Okay, so let's mark the second line as line B. So, pag tinanggal na natin yung mga tools natin, makikita natin na nakapag-drawing tayo ng parallel lines. So, if we extend the lines to bo in both directions, they will never meet. 
Okay, next is we are going to draw perpendicular lines. So, paano ba tayo magdo-drawing ng perpendicular lines? So, again, draw a straight line using the ruler. So, gagamit tayo ng ruler at magdo-drawing tayo ng straight line and we mark this as line A. Then, align the base of the triangle along the line you drew. So, ilalagay ulit natin yung base ng triangle or i-align natin yung base ng triangle doon sa drawing nating line kanina. Then, align the ruler along the hypotenuse or the side of the right triangle opposite the right. Okay, so yung hypotenuse, ito yung pinakamahabang side ng triangle natin. So, i-align natin doon yung ruler natin. Then, Align the ruler along the hypotenuse or the side of the right triangle opposite the right angle and draw a line along the side of a triangle. So, after natin i-align yung ating ruler dun sa hypotenuse, mag-drawing tayo ng line dito sa side ng right triangle natin. And this will be our line B. So, yan. Tingnan yung mabuti na nakabuo tayo ng 90 degree angle dito sa ating nagawang perpendicular triangle. So, ganun lang ang pagdadrawing ng perpendicular triangle. Okay, so let's have uh, this activity. We're going to tell what kind of lines referred to in each item. So, meron tayo ditong mga items and we're going to identify anong klaseng line ang nakikita natin sa item na to. So, dito sa scissors, so, so we can say that scissors formed an intersecting lines. How about this one? Dito sa damit na to, anong nakikita nyong lines? Yes. So, nakakita tayo ng parallel lines. Next item is a flag. So, anong line kaya ang nakikita nyo dito sa flag? Okay, so, it is a perpendicular lines. So, nakakita tayo ng perpendicular lines kasi tingnan nyo yung uh, line dito sa flag, makakabuo tayo ng 90 degree angle. Okay, next item is a piano. So, pansin nyo yung mga keys ng piano. O, oh, ano nakikita nyo sa mga keys ng piano? Okay, sa so nakakita tayo ng parallel lines. How about this picture? So, anong lines ang inyong nakikita? Okay, correct. So, intersecting lines ang ating nakikita. Kasi yung dalawang lines na to ay nag-meet at exactly one point. Okay, so another activity is we're going to answer the following questions using the illustration below. So, meron tayo ditong mga lines. We have line AB, line D, or CD, line EF, line GH, then line JK, and line LF. So, meron tayong mga tanong na sasagutin base dito sa ating nakikitang illustration. So, ang first question is, which line is parallel to line GH? So, hanapin natin yung line GH. Okay, so ito yung line GH. Alin daw line dyan ang parallel sa line GH? Okay, so yung line AB ang parallel sa line GH. Okay, may kita nyo naman, ba? Pag in-extend natin yung line AB sa line GH, in both directions, hindi sila mag-meet. Kaya parallel sila sa isa't isa. Okay, next question. Name at least two lines that intersect line EF. So, hanapin natin yung line EF. Okay, so ito. So, magbigay tayo ngayon ng dalawang lines na nag-intersect doon sa line EF. So, pwede natin ibigay ang line na JK. So, nag-intersect siya dito sa EF. At ang line LM. So, nag-intersect siya sa line EF. So, ang answer natin are line LM and line JK. 
Okay, okay, next, name at least two lines that are perpendicular to line AB. So, pag sinabing perpendicular, dapat magpo-form sila ng 90 degree angle. So, hanapin natin yung line AB. Ito. So, aling dalawang line dyan ang pwedeng mag-perpendicular sa line AB. So, possible ang line JK, nag-form sila ng 90 degree angle, at ang line LM. So, yan. So, ang answer natin ngayon ay line LM and line JK. Next question, how many lines are parallel to line EF? So, ilang lines daw ang parallel sa line EF? So, hanapin natin yung line EF. Ito. So, alin dyan yung parallel sa line EF? Hindi naman pwede itong line GH at line AB. Kasi pag in-extend natin yan, mag-mimit sila dito. mag intersect sila. Imagine nyo na lang. So, ibig sabihin, itong line CD ang kaparaler ng, ng line EF. So, meron lamang isang line na magpaparalel doon sa line EF. At ayun ang line CD. Okay, last question. Is line JK perpendicular to line EF? Explain. So, hanapin natin yung line JK. So, ito yung line JK. Sabi, perpendicular ba siya sa line EF? Ito yung line EF. So, sa tingin nyo, perpendicular line bang ba nabuo niya? Hindi. Kasi hindi sila nag-form ng 90 degree uh, angle. So, intersecting lines lang sila. Therefore, ang sagot natin is no because it does not form a 90 degree angle. Thanks for watching this video. Hit like if you learned something from this video and don't forget to subscribe on this channel. Thank you so much.